So this is just going to be a very, hopefully, quick, um, recent, not so recent pickups video. Um, yeah, I think this is all probably six months worth of crap that I bought. So uh, let's get rid of the miscellaneous stuff first. So music. For whatever reason, I decided to pick up Glass Animals' um, Dreamland album. I really enjoyed, like, the entire thing. Just the whole, you know, aesthetic of the album. Very dripping with nostalgia. So, really love this. Um, for quite a while, I've been obsessed with a band called Ambulance LTD. Um, I've been pirated their music so, so long ago. Sorry guys um i picked up two of their uh, albums on uh ebay several months ago this is their new english ep and just i think they're self-titled oh, ambulance ltd ltd lp um freaking uh sugar pill both of these have two different versions of sugar pill it is one of my favorite songs um, books, let's see, found this on eBay quite a while ago, I, uh, read this in middle school, and I, for whatever reason, it stuck with me, it's called The Haunting of Hol Holroyd Hill, uh, basically, some kids move in, it's a children's book, it's, I'm pretty sure I was like 12 years old when I watched it, when I read this, it's from 1997, I think. Um, kids move into a farm and there's a ghost that goes through their house every night at a certain time and it's a I, can't, I think it's a, a Union soldier and yeah it's stuck with me I, I don't know why I've, it's been 20 years since I read it and it's just been in the back of my head um, found this for like two bucks um, Twin Peaks, the final dossier, a novel by Mark Frost. I don't know, I love Twin Peaks, and this is, I kind of flipped through it, and it looks really interesting. It's just definitely worth the, like, two, two dollars that I, I spent on it. Um, I didn't organize stuff very well. Oh. This is something one of my uh, co-workers gave me. Um, it's the J. Dilla um, draft little cassette. This is a little... Um, I don't know. I can't remember where he got it from, but I, I friggin' love J. Dilla. And this is really cool to get. He also had this little MF Doom card. Uh, that was very, really freaking cool of him. He also got me this little MF Doom, um, hopefully the video quality is alright, little pin. Um, I've been trying to keep it in my videos when I'm doing like top down stuff, just uh, as background. Also, my dad got me these several months ago, some cards. He's always getting on Amazon and ordering random stuff that looks cool to him and he thinks that I'll, I'll like and these are actually really cool here's some pl uh, trade playing cards um, this is uh, the Avengers one the Infinity Saga uh, he got me a Star Wars one and this cool Harry Potter one they're coming really cool cases the, the cards themselves are really really neat looking a couple weeks after he actually gave them to me, he act, uh, I started seeing them at work at Walmart. Um, but they've got like some art. Haggard's the Joker, apparently. The Keeper of Keys. Um, there's McGonagall. Dumbledore. Yeah, they have really cool art. Uh, it's just kind of cool when he just buys stuff for me. Um, it's kind of ripped a little bit. That kind of sucks, but... Uh, ugh, come on. 
picked up V for Vendetta. Um, love the movie back. Uh, God, it's probably 15 years old now. Um, never read the comic. Picked up the the whole thing. It's all color. Can't wait to dig into that. Also, I got <laughs> this little promotional poster from uh, I think it's from Comic Con or something like that. Um, it's from Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness, promoting the Blu-ray DVD release. Um, yeah, Pizza Papa, freaking one of my favorite favorite parts of the movie. Um, also picked up. This is super super random. I picked up this Animal Crossing calendar from 2003. Upside down. Um, you have the winter stuff, January through June, and on the back you got the rest of it. Uh, I freaking love Animal Crossing. I love I have so many memories of, in 2003 of playing Animal Crossing. So it was really cool to find a calendar from that year. Um reorganized a little bit uh, let's get rid of the movies so I picked up Uncharted on 4k uh, the normal release um, I think I did an unboxing video for this for the first one and then my dad bought this uh, steelbook version that came with Nathan Drake's ring I think I did an unboxing video for this as well so I actually Surprisingly, I really enjoyed the mo that movie. Uh, picked up uh, Pokemon, the first three movies. Pokemon the movie, Pokemon the movie 2000, and Pokemon 3 the movie. Um, these are all really solid um, <coughs> movies. I remember as a kid watching them over and over on VHS. Um, three's kind of sad. Um, yeah, uh, this came out several years ago. Good grief. Uh, 2015. I remember seeing it and I never got around to actually buying it. And then the price kept going up and up and up. And finally picked it up. Happy to have that. Found this for super cheap. Uh, Doctor Who, well, twice upon a time. Um, I had high hopes for Peter Capaldi's Doctor. Uh, it kind of petered out for me, but it was worth a couple bucks. Um, next up, I did an, an unboxing video for these. These are my Black Friday pickups. Um, picked up the North Northman on 4K. My brother was so hyped up to see this, and we never got around to seeing it. it wasn't in theaters or anywhere, and I could not find a 4K copy. All my store had was uh, just Blu-ray. I don't know if this was released later or what, but I heard good things, and I'm hoping my brother will come down and just have a movie night. Picked up Sonic the Hedgehog on 4K and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 4K, mainly for my daughter. She watched this one, I think, two or three times in the theater. She hasn't, I don't think she's seen the first one, but she really, really enjoyed them. Uh, no Time to Die on 4K. These are all 4K after this, so. I really enjoyed this movie. It's kind of sad, but um, just seeing Daniel Craig's run as Bond kind of come to an end. But watched it in theaters when it was, you know, eventually released, you know two years of delays with COVID and everything. Never got around to buy it on 4K and uh, Best Buy had all these on really good deals. Um, Interstellar, I cannot wait to, I'm planning on upgrading my TV next year and to a higher end 4K TV and I can't wait to see, I love Interstellar. My friend and I uh, went and watched it in theaters and we were the only ones in the screening for it one of my the best um, theater experiences ever no idiots screwing everything up 
Ghost in the Shell, 4K. Uh, these are all sealed. I've been so busy with work, I haven't got to pop any of them in. Um, I, I think I already have one or two copies of this, along with like Akira and everything. Love this movie. The Batman. Uh, watched it in theaters. Freaking adored it. They had so many movies on sale, and like I narrowed it down to the ones that I really wanted to watch. And I cannot wait to see this one, like in 4K. I watched it in theaters, and I watched it again on HBO Max. But uh, nothing beats just the disc. Clockwork Orange. What can I say? This is kind of a traumatizing movie. It's one of those movies you can only watch every couple of years, uh, if that. But, yeah. Freaking love, uh, Malcolm McDowell. Dune, cannot wait for the sequel. Um, when this came out in theaters, I was really, really worried that they weren't gonna make a sequel. Because, um, I loved the original Dune back, you know, back in the 80s. Um, <laughs> It's funny that the director for this made a sequel to Blade Runner, a fantastic 80s movie, and then he made a remake of Dune, or a new adaptation of Dune, which was from the 80s. Um, nobody. Haven't seen this one yet. Um, it came out in theaters, and I just never got around to seeing it, and I'm sure it was on streaming at one point. It may still be up on HBO Max, but I heard really good things about it, and can't wait to give it a go. Um, Edge of Tomorrow or Live, Die, Repeat or whatever. Um, had it on Blu-ray. The Blu-ray disc got about 30 minutes into the movie, if that, and would just crap out. Um, it came with the DVD, but I just, I was so frustrated. I gave the whole thing to my mother-in-law. I'm like, the Blu-ray doesn't work, but the DVD doesn't. She appreciated it. <coughs> Those are all Best Buy, uh, the 4Ks. This is the only thing I bought from Walmart with Black Friday. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Heard great things about it. Um, Ten bucks. Couldn't pass that. Okay. Let's get to some games. So, on the PS5, picked up. I actually forgot I pre-ordered this. This is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. Um, <coughs> for the longest time, I don't even know if I had a release date tied to it, but this is the uh, collector's edition or whatever. Haven't opened it. I don't know if I'll be opening it up anytime soon. I actually considered selling it because I doubt I will, though. But, yeah. Um... Another PS5 game somewhere over here. Yeah. Somewhere. There we go. Battlefield 2042. Um, I don't know. It was a uh, impulse buy. I honestly, I watched some reviews afterwards, and I don't know if I will ever actually play this. I love Battlefield, but it doesn't have a story or anything. It's literally just uh, online gameplay, apparently, and that really sucks. So, we will see, I guess. Um, let's do... Yeah. What the hell? Wii U. I picked up Super Mario Maker. I'm trying to beef up my Wii U collection still. Um... Never got around to buying this. I know it's there's a sequel on the Switch, but I just really like the Wii U. I, it's a real underdog um, system, and yeah, we'll see. My daughter, my daughter loves Mario. My wife loves Mario. Probably pop that in at some point. It comes with a really cool little idea book in there. Um, on the Vita, picked up uh, Unit Thirteen. It was uh, pretty cheap. Um, yeah, always looking for good deals on Vita. Um, let's do some PS3. 
they're kind of sticking together. Some of these aren't in great shape. Picked up Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, played it on the 360 way back in the day when it came out. My brother put a ton of hours into it. Um, Lord of the Rings Conquest with the uh, Rings of Power. I got in kind of a really deep Lord of the Rings um, mode and picked up this. Heard good things about it. L.A. Noir. Uh, it's got a giant nasty sticker going across it. Yeah, heard okay things about it. Uh, this one I'm kind of aggravated about because the packaging is just absolutely disgusting. Uh, Mafia 2. Um, the Betrayal of Jimmy. Free add on content. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Uh, picked it up. Whatever. Red Dead Redemption. Played it on 360 way back in the day with my brother. Uh, yeah, my, my dad got really hyped up when the, this game originally came out, which... He doesn't get too hyped up about games too much, but this one he just liked the concept of, you know, out in the Wild West and everything, so I don't even know if I have it on 360 anymore. I think my brother ended up taking it whenever he moved out. Um, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. My brother played this. It was super... I actually think I got both of these bundled up. I'm not 100% sure. Picked up Rocksmith, um, played a little bit of it, it's pretty cool, uh, I kind of think my pickup is either, it just doesn't pick up very well or my, I need to try a different guitar on it. Uh, Lair, uh, I don't know, inter interesting piece of, uh, PlayStation history, presented in high definition 1080p and true 7.1 surround sound. Yeah, it's, well, I think this was a launch PS3 game. I don't know. <coughs> Eco and Shadow of the Colossus Collection, um, remastered in high definition. With 3D compatible, which my TV is 3D. Give that, I'll give that a shot. I know Pete Doerr was always talking about Eco um, way back in the day. I think he still mentions it on some of his videos and his streams. Uh, Star Wars, The Complete Saga. Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. It feels so, it feels so old. This is 15 years old. Almost 16. 2007. Good grief. Picked up Cyberpunk, uh, 2077 when I found out that they released a PlayStation, you get a free PlayStation 5 version, which I've heard okay things about. I have a gaming PC, but I just, I'm just a console person. I don't know. This comes with some, like, postcards and a map and everything. I know it got horrible, horrible launch reviews, but worth a shot. Picked up, whew, Dishonored, Definitive Edition, and Dishonored 2. This one's still sealed. I popped this one in. I bought Dishonored when it first came out, like way back in the day on the 360. Really enjoyed it. Like, I love stealth games. Um, yeah, uh, it was super cheap. Super. This was even cheaper. Like, this is brand new. I think this was like, I bought it for like $9 or whatever. And then after, afterward, I see it comes, with, I don't know if it's still valid, but digital copy of Dishonored Def Definitive Edition included for free. <clears throat> I'm sure it's expired. My older brother wanted me and my brother to, my younger brother to, uh, pick up Borderlands 3. Uh, picked it up, installed it, and we still haven't played it. Um, I know my brother and my friend have played this quite extensively, but I've been working so much and with the kids. It just hasn't happened. I need to go back and finish my PS4. Four copy of Borderlands 1, which is my favorite. I I love Borderlands 2, but the first one I love the characters, the setting, everything. Um, maybe I'll get my brother to sit down and blast through the rest of it with me. Picked up this super cheap for my daughter, Ice Age Scratch Nutty Adventure. It's a really cheap game. Um, she likes being able to just 
hop on my PS4 or 5 or whatever. I think I've got this on PS5. Installed on my PS5. Um, and just play. Just easy game that she, she can understand and I can just hand her the remote. Also picked up Control. Um, I heard a lot of really great things about it. Um, can't wait to give it a shot. And finally, I think, I'm sure I've got something else that I missed as usual. Picked up Near Replicant. I, this is probably my the game I'm most excited about that I've got here. Played the original Near, um, good God, probably 10, 11 years ago as part of a Gents Challenge on Pete's Game Room Forum. Uh, my friend Andy actually challenged me to play it. Uh, kind of apprehensive because the the one I played was PS3 and it had um, where you're, it's the dad and this is the other version of it. I think it was like the 360 version or, or something um, where you're the brother. Uh, same story basically just slight variation so I adore the, the first one. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's going to be really fun revisiting it on PS4. So, yeah. I think that's everything. I hope. Uh, every time I make a video, I end up finding a crap ton of stuff that I forgot. So, I guess I will start a new pile of stuff so it went a little longer than i thought but there's a lot of crap here so thanks for watching